Hey, what's up, guys? Tom is back with another Linsen's video. Today, we have a fragrance from Fragrance World. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you, guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you watch me right now walking your doggy, walking your big cane corso, your big pit bull, your big Rottweiler. Maybe you're just walking some little puny dog that uh, the wife bought for herself and now she's making you walk. Uh, but uh, however and wherever you watch me, it is an honor. If you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. As you can see, I have this thing on my head. This is pretty much a Linsense t-shirt with the scintillators going over the forehead. Put this on just real quick because just got done playing some pickleball and I'm still kind of hot. So uh, didn't want too much sweat to be dripping all over the screen. But anyways, we do have one from Fragrance World. Now, if you guys remember, probably almost a year, maybe two years back, I did a, a review on this one called Onero Extract. This Eau de Parfum, Onero Extract, uh, the Eau de Parfum. Man, this one is just like fresh. It's kind of fruity. It's um, it's a very good fragrance too. And I just wore this like uh, maybe like a week ago and got like three or four compliments from this one. Um, fresh, kind of fruity, kind of green and woody. I think I said woody. Green green fruity sweet woody boom smells good it smells really good i still don't know what this is a clone of because uh there's no information on this fragrance and if there is it probably is the wrong information someone will be like yeah this fragrance has uh charcoal uh, coals in it and uh and chocolate and it smells nothing like it so who knows um but anyways that Onero lineup has multiple different fragrances and i got a new one and thanks, my guy out there in California, man, you guys already know him, the Oud store. If you guys never have shopped with him before, man, I highly encourage it, man. He is a beast, has pretty much everything that you need. Sometimes he doesn't have it. Like I might put this video up and then he might not have it, but maybe like two, three weeks later, he'll have it. But honestly, pretty much any um, uh, seller that is down in the description below, you can pretty much shop with them with confidence because I've shopped with them numerous numerous times but this guy in california just seems to be my a1 all day anyways this one is onero adams so today i'm gonna be bobby onero okay bobby onero onero adam okay same kind of box you guys remember the same kind of box the other one was like kind of like a grayish something colored gray dark gray blue i don't know what the other color is i'm colorblind anyways this one is more of a dallas cowboy color got that silver and blue or maybe even the detroit lions colors uh but let's get into this and see what it is all about again there's really no information on this one there's no information on that one so honestly this is just going in with a open mind okay i already said the other one was good so i was like hey let me try that one out so here we go bottles are really different okay so this one as you can see this one kind of reminds me of a polo bottle this one kind of a uh mont blanc maybe uh bottle because of that round almost uh kind of like a um what is that uh the thing that they put the booze in what, what is those called i forgot what the hell they hey brain fart right now but overall bottle looks pretty nice now from the one little bit of information i found on a website they said this is like a uh their take on mont blanc legend now if that's the case I'm not sure if Legend is discontinued. I'm not sure if it's expensive, but I don't get why they would uh, make a clone of that fragrance. It's pretty cheap as is. So who knows? Again, I don't know. I'm just going to go into this with an open mind. You're going to just see what I think of it. Okay, so here we go. Cap is, wow, I'm disappointed with fragrance more than this one. This one literally feels like the same cap that you pull off some toothpaste or mouthwash or something like that. But anyways, let's get into the fragrance itself. They do got that FW on the top, which I like. So here we go. Atomizer is awesome. It's not a pressure sensitive, but it shoots out a nice, huge blast. Mm. 
Okay, from what I'm smelling, it's kind of citrusy and almost like seltzery. Okay, so when I smell this, I'm thinking of something like uh, vodka on the rocks, something similar to that. Um, it's super fresh. It's almost like a real soapy, fresh green. Not like green as in like an earthy green, but... Hmm, wait. There's a little bit of fruitiness creeping through, okay? Like some fresh... Could be apple. Okay, could be just regular apple, green apple. Now, I don't think Killian on the Rocks, Vodka on the Rocks, has an apple in it. But when I first smelt it, it kind of gave me that vibe, like a seltzery drink, like a fruity seltzery drink, but uh, using an apple. Okay, like an apple, like a fresh, not something too sweet, something more that's kind of on the sweet, maybe slightly sour uh, take on things like a fruit. And then you take it and you amp it up with like a little bit of seltzer water, club soda, whatever you want to call it, tonic. Slightly woody in the background, slightly woody, maybe some sandalwood. But you know what? I'm not going to say I'm in love with this one just yet, but it's nice. It's very nice. This is definitely a little bit different than your just typical, you know, you can wear this into the office. You can wear this into the gym, I believe. You can wear this going into school. You can wear this uh, just running some errands like during the day. This is a, not a nighttime fragrance. Now, if it is, it's more of like a play nighttime fragrance. Okay, you're just going bowling. Maybe you're doing some playful things. But this is more of a daytime fragrance, in my opinion. Summer, spring, if that's the occasion you want to go for. The warmer months, obviously. Cold, if you are going to wear this in the cold weather, then you want to wear it, obviously, going indoors somewhere. But again, woody, fruity, fresh. Again, like apple. Something that has that, that can give you kind of a sweet and sour. So like a green apple, okay? And then you take that and you kind of wrap that around with like this seltzery. So maybe when I say green, it was more like the, the green peel of an apple, okay? It smells very good, you guys. You know what, again, I like it. I'm not going to say I'm in love with it. I'm not over the head, over heels with this game. This is not something I'm going to go tell you guys, get out there and go get. I mean, it's like 45 bucks, give or take. I think you can probably get it for 40 if you kind of give them an offer. But this one is okay. It's okay enough for me to say I would wear this. Okay, I definitely rock this. Most people that smell it probably will rock this. I don't think this is an offensive fragrance at all. There's nothing in it that says, Ugh, get that out of here. It smells great. And again... It's good for pretty much, It's it's got multiple uses. You can wear it on a date again. You can wear it at the day. You can wear it just lounge around the house. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it to school. It's kind of getting that woody smell, that woody, sandal woody smell is creeping through a lot more now. But I'm going to see what the wife thinks real quick. Babe, wife, hun bun. Yeah. Gave her three names right there. See, three names. She probably didn't come to the first one, but once you start seeing all those other ones, they come. Either that or if you just whisper something under your breath really lightly, then they come in a trample mode. But here we go. Um, I'm going to spray this in the air to kind of give her a fresh little smell because, again, this is one of those fragrances I actually think smells better in the air than on skin. It's not to say my skin is bad. I think it's pretty good, actually, but... Uh, it's just not, uh, I think this smells better in the air. What do you think? It smells good. Good. Okay, again, it's not nasty. It's, it's fresh. Again, it's crisp. I think it's crisp. Again, I think, uh, again, I'm thinking of a seltzery drink, like if you took... Green apples, you smashed it up, put some ice in there, and then you put some seltzer water in there, and maybe you stuck a um, uh, sugar cane in there, maybe because you kind of get that a little bit sweet, and then a little bit of that kind of woodiness, like a like a sugar cane. It smells better from the bottle. It does. 
It smells very fresh and clean, okay? It's fresh, clean, slightly fruity, slightly bit sweet. And again, that's sweet is most likely. If there is some apple, that's what I'm kind of getting when I say green and fruity. Kind of getting this apple-y smell. Something that's sweet, sour, green, fresh. But that is that. Now, I think... This probably will take a little time because a lot of these, you guys know some of these Middle Eastern fragrances, they do take time to kind of uh, macerate a little bit, which guys like to call it, or marinate. You guys know what they always say when you watch a cooking channel, they say, let it marinate overnight for best results. So sometimes these fragrances need overnight plus more, but uh, I like it. I like it, but I'm not going to recommend this one just yet. Maybe sometime down the line I will, but... Uh, what do you think compared to that one to this one? What do you think? This one you can pretty much smell right from the bottle. Again, this one's definitely been had a lot of time to kind of age and stuff like that. I like this one. You heard the wife's with her ooh. <laughs> so that means she likes it. Okay, you guys said you want her to speak more ooh is good enough. <laughs> she likes it. Same cheap cap though. But this one smells good too, you guys. The Oniro Extract. Again, this one is... Uh, Oniro Atom. Do I, you know, when I think of the Atom, though, I think like it's gonna be like an atom bomb or uh, maybe as small as an atom. I don't know. Maybe they're looking at it that way small what atom is? or nuclear atom. That's what I'm thinking. When you, you send me one of these, I'm thinking nuclear. I don't think, although I'm starting to smell it a little bit more now in the air, okay? I'm starting to, when I keep doing this waving and stuff, I keep getting, I mean, that could just be from my hand doing the waving, but. Smell it on the skin, maybe now. Maybe it's not oh, on the well, skin. Oh, I never got a chance to smell it on your skin, but it she does did. smell nice. It's not as good as that one, but it does smell good. It smells a lot better on the skin than from the bottle and in the air. It actually smells pretty big on the skin. I think there's a slight, starting to get a slight little bit of citrus in here, maybe too, but it's more of a fruity, fresh fruit. Again, kind of like apple, I think. It's not something super duper sweet and dense and stuff like that, like a pineapple or a plum or something like that, or peach, nothing like that. It's more on the fresh side of fruit. So that is that. That is that uh, a Nero atom, okay? Atom bomb, atom nuclear, atom small, atom uh, one at a Tom. Who knows? A Nero. So there you go. Fragrance world, atom. On Nero. There you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And again, I'm not recommending it just yet. Okay, give me some time with it. Maybe like another uh, month from now, I'll wear it again. Maybe I'll actually go outdoors with it and see if maybe that outdoors kind of brings out uh, the best of that fragrance. But as of right now, in this house, it's just okay. Okay, I, I'm still going to wear it because it's uh, still better than some of these other cheapies that I have. So I'll, I'll wear it, but uh, just not totally in love with it just yet so with that being said i'm gonna get up out of here hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you did hit the likes comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time peace